The audience is seated and the lights fade. The curtains lift and the radio and comes to on. Yard, the crime took place at 24 Culver Street. Agatha Christie's dramatic telling of a murder at Monkswell Manor has come to New Zealand shores once again. It's set in Monkswell Manor guest house, which is in, inherited by this young uh, woman and, and her husband, whom she's only been married to for a year. And she decides to run it as a guest house. Uh, it wasn't beforehand, but she's running it as a guest house now, Monkswell Manor guest house. So everybody's booked in there, and a blizzard occurs it's in the depths of winter. A blizzard occurs, everyone's booked except my character, who arrives out of the blue and says, I, I beg of you, uh, may I come in? Because his car's trapped in a snowdrift. This is Mark Winter, who plays Mr. Paravicini. Who is the mystery man. He says himself, I am the man of mystery. But now I tell you this, from now on, there'll be no more arrivals, no departures. By tomorrow, perhaps even already, we are cut off from civilization. Soon after that, by the way, there's a knock on the windows and there's a, a, a policeman there who's come on skis to investigate uh, what's going on here because there's been a murder down at Longridge Farm and he's, he picked up some uh, um, information on a notebook that was left behind accidentally and he understands the next one could be here because that was another address written on the notebook. So he comes here to find out, what, is there somebody who is, who's a killer? You know, you don't, you don't know. And who, it could be any one of these people. Well, my name is Jonathan Taffler and I am in New Zealand directing The Mousetrap, which has been running for a, a little while in uh, my home country of the United Kingdom. A little while is an understatement, Jonathan. The play premiered on the West End in London when baby boomers were, well, just babies. Set in about 1952 originally, but not in this production. I moved it forward to the early 60s, about the winter of 62, 63, because there's a lot of, um, there's quite a lot of conflict between the older characters in the play and the younger characters. And that seems to me that that setting, that time setting, just brings that out a little bit. It's just when things were starting to change, when the sound of pop music was starting to change and clothes were starting to change. So I didn't push it all the way forward into the summer of love, 67, that sort of time, but just when it was on the cusp, just when things were starting to change. Jonathan Taffler's production played in South Africa before coming to New Zealand. Malcolm Terry, who plays Major Metcalf, says it was warmly received. The lovely thing for me with this production in Joburg was we had, you expect the older generation to come and see a murder mystery. Yeah, of course you do. But we had an enormous amount of young couples, say tw 24, 25, like on date nights, or young married couples of you know 25. And a lot of them, not just the odd couple, you get them in the front three, four rows, and they're loving it, absolutely loving it, because it's like Murder, She Wrote or, you know, uh, Poirot. And you, murder mysteries are a strange thing. You want to know, you know, who did it. Um, once the murder has happened, you, what is it, her, is it him? And that's universal, I think. So I think that's why The Mousetrap is so popular. It sounds like there could be a repeat audience. Mark Winter believes people are fascinated by a good mystery. I saw it in London. I didn't guess. And, and very few people do guess. And that's where I think she's very, very clever because she wrong foots the audience. That's a skill, isn't it, to be able to oh, yeah. add twists and turns. Yeah, and Agatha Christie was schooled in a very interesting environment. She lived, she was born in Torquay in, in, down in Devon in England. And um, her father was a very wealthy man. And they had you know, servants and all sorts. Um, uh, sadly, his fortunes fell as she got older, but she went to finishing school in Paris and she was training to be a classical pianist, like her sister. Uh, but the guests that came to their house, um, some of them were Devon-based, were people like Thomas Hardy, the writer, you know, so I think her ear was attuned to inventing stories from a quite an early age. A good murder mystery won't last, though, unless the audience can take a vow of silence at the end of every performance. We ask you to please keep the secret of who done it locked in your hearts. And you do hear people go, oh, yeah, sometimes, you know, they, oh, yes, <laughs> they do buy into it.
Dame Agatha Christie, novelist, short story writer, playwright, poet and memoirist, died in 1976, aged 85. What would she think of her play still being performed around the world? I am absolutely sure that she would be amazed to find and thrilled to find that it is still running all these years, 67 years later. 67 years it's been running in the West End, which is quite unprecedented and extraordinary. Um, so, and, and I know that she expected it to run about eight months, was her, she thought. But it just took off from the beginning and um, people can't get enough of it. I mean, it's, you know, it's an installation, it's a fixture in the London's West End. The Mousetrap ends its New Zealand run in Wellington this month.